Hello, my name's Lucy and I'm a front of house supervisor here at the Bodleian Libraries. Welcome to the Divinity School. The Divinity School is one of our most popular and iconic spaces, but it's also a space of contradicting style due to the two different approaches of two master masons. In 1430, the university appointed Richard Winchcombe as the supervisor for the building work of the Divinity School. He favoured an elaborate style of work. His work was very elegant and beautiful, but it was also very time consuming and costly. Unfortunately for Richard, by 1439, the university had grown impatient with his slow progress. The university was suffering a lack of funds at this time, mainly due to a decline in the number of students. In short, money was tight. However, the slow progress was also blamed on Winchcombe's unnecessary ornamentation, and he was dismissed from the project. Thomas Elkin became his successor, but he was told to eliminate frivolous curiosities, which the university deemed expensive, time-consuming and lacking in taste. Therefore, the ornamentation of this room is not uniform and there are some interesting points of difference within it. At the easternmost window of the Divinity School, the contrast of Winchcombe's elaborate style and Elkin's prescribed planar stonework can be seen clearly. On the south side of the building, the supportive buttresses are not panelled above the plinth and the mouldings are simpler in the windows. The result of both stonemasons' work, the Divinity School is a spectacular example of late Gothic perpendicular style of architecture, typified by features such as large windows and four-centred arches. The building was used for the teaching of theology for hundreds of years before it was given to the Bodleian in 1968. Thank you for joining me. If you would like to hear more about the Divinity School, then please don't forget to visit our website where you can find out how to book onto one of our fantastic guided tours. Thank you.